It's Dragon Ball time! Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today we're going to have a look at the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z Android 19. This is the anomaly of the Androids. The Androids which we didn't, weren't supposed to have, but because of some time-space anomalies were created. And I like this design. It's different, it's unique. And it's also chunky. You know, I love me to have some big muscly guys, but I'm always very much interested what they're gonna do if you have a design that's just a lot more out there than your regular norm of like muscly Saiyans. And this figure also, this character, also comes with some Vegeta stuff. Because as you know in the anime or the manga, whichever you prefer, um, this guy almost took out Goku, but also because of a heart attack. And then we have Vegeta to massacre this boy. So let's have a look at the figure. Size of the mime guy, he stands at about 13, that's 12 and a half centimeters to the top of his head and like a little over 13 and a half to the top of his little spike on the head. And then for your inches, that means we are going up to five up to the head and like five point, uh, close to 5.4 to the top of the spike. Size comparison. Here's Jolter. The SH Figure Arts Heart Attack Guy and Vegeta, the actual popular Android 17 and 18, and Darkseid. Uh, having him out of the box, I'm a lot less enthusiastic about this review. Let me tell you something, brother. What? Okay, so this is not a premium Bandai, and I love to. This is this is probably gonna become a running gag if they continue to do this. It's not a premium release at a premium price point that doesn't have premium paint. In fact, I don't think it has that much paint at all. Like, look at the face color. Look at how glossy the head looks. Uh, I feel like this is just. It looks so plasticky. I mean, the uh, the paint which is there on the eyes and the mouth and whatnot looks good. Also have like the golden earrings, but I just took it the. <laughs> The shine of it, we have the red ribbon symbol, also looks clean, and a little spike on the head. And then we have the entire top part, this, this little vest thing going on. Again, I don't... Is, it, is this painter? It, it looks so bland. It looks so boring. And then we have in the black, there's even some bleeding from the white. So the amount of the little paint they did isn't even like that clean. Even though like, yeah, that's not that big of an issue. They have a little red rope that goes around it. They have the shoulder pads, which have some articulation points, which I think it's cool. I mean, it looks a little bit wonky, but still, I like the idea of it. How much like, although, if I look at the pants, I don't really like the idea of it. Like, again, you have those big puffy pants and articulation points. It had to be done. But, what's going on over here, first and foremost, you have a tiny bit of shading on the lower half of the middle part. And that, that's it. And then, I feel like, you have the, uh, the crotch area, which also, I feel like, hangs a little bit too low. I, I, don't, I don't know, they kind of do that sometimes. But also, like... Can't you tell that like that there's this orange and this part has like a different color than this orange? It's a lot brighter, probably because this one isn't painted and this one is painted. And they at least try to line them up. And I know that this is like a moving part. You usually don't want to paint that, but come on, if you're gonna have all these layers, you might as well just paint it. I think. Like I don't think this would flake off. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. Th this this is just over designed. The whole pan part is kind of a thing that really bothers me a little bit. Uh, as I move down to shoes, I mean, at least these one look clean. And uh, overall, I mean, aesthetically, he does have the look of the character. He does have the vibe. I don't know. Like, he feels like a little bit short. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I really need to look up on that. I don't, like, I don't think he was like a really tall, tall dude. But he mostly fought Vegeta, which is also short. So maybe that makes him look uh, a little bit shorter than he actually is. Also, he's a little bit gappy. I know, once again, this is like for articulation points, so I'm not sure how I feel about it. And you don't really notice it that much because this is all like black parts, but no, this this entire vest part is completely hollowed out, so... I don't know about this guy. For your articulation, well, the hat sucks, let me tell you that one. Uh, you can barely move it around and it just loves to disconnect because you have this tiny ball joint with the ball hinge at the lower half. And since there's not really enough room, you can somewhat try to shift it if you move it forward. But that's about it. It's blocked then immediately by the collar, which you can also move around as you can tell. Same thing, just a teeny tiny bit. So I mean, if you combine the two, the result is 
decent if we're being nice about it or crap if we're not being nice about it so can move that and side to side tilting also is mostly done over the color obviously you can rotate this and it's it's just popping off all the freaking time then for the shoulders you have the beautiful butterfly butterfly joint so you can move this entire joint forward you can bring the fist forward and then you have it connected to the ball in there so you can shift it around can bring it up and down for some more movement poses and movement poses what does that even mean anyway wow um i had a heart attack give me my uh give me my grape flavored healing potion from the future trunks anyway whew, i had to cool down there so we do have this beautiful joint on the side over here which you can swivel around and you can bring it up and down it is on a hinge and I think they probably have a ball on the top of it because you can still rotate it. But yeah, this one is very cool and I like joints like this and then you have the double hinged elbow. This is like a fairly standard but good looking joint. And then you also have the big ball joint in the wrist area, you can bring that back and forth. For the chest you do have probably I think a hinge which is so you can pull them out. And then it's also on a ball because you can bring it forward. Let me pull this all the way up. That's quite impressive. Obviously, you do have the big gap in the back, but what are you gonna do about that? If you move it back, it doesn't look that good, but I mean, you can still try to adjust it. it it's gonna, you know, it's bound to leave some gaps, and I'm happy that they did anything with it, but because if you just cut it up over here, it looks like crap, so. Also, rotation, swiveling is fine, and has some side-to-side -side motion. Again, it's not the greatest, but you gotta work with some limitations of the entire design of the figure and I, I like that you we're keeping so fairly clean looking design and then we have a little bit of wiggle motion on the lower half the hip part the crotch part then we get to the legs which look like a bit of a mess I can as you can see I think they maybe overdid it a little bit with all the panels lining up over here and also it doesn't really move that much on the uh, on the crotch area so you can move this out can't really move it back because it's a big butt and then you move it forward just very slightly and then as you move the knee joint you can tell there's like a bunch of panels trying to cover it up somehow but you can still move this one out I don't really know why that's for I guess it's not supposed to because it's supposed to hold on to the lower half main problem with this is like the difference in color also you do have a swivel down there or is it on the ball no I think it's just a swivel so it swivels and then for the feet we do have the uh, dumbbell joint in there so you can shift it just a little bit side to side and back and forth really got to get a good grip to it pivot is very nice and finally you also do have a toe hinge and i think you can also like just rotate this around as much as the mold lets it so we got a bunch of cool accessories i'm gonna start off with the faces because i like these very much first and foremost you do have the uh, one inconspicuous just kind of looking to the side as he hangs out in, in the city of Dr. Gero or Gero or whatever. And then there's this, this like grin, this awful, just like <laughs> And uh, we even got like the upgrade to that grin is like the maniacal smile. And right next to that is like the classic moment where he realizes that Vegeta just ripped off his hands and he's about to bite the dust. Classic. And then we got for the hands, we got chop hands, which is funny. I recently just uh, talked about how we don't really get chop hands anymore. And then bombing, I was like, ah, there you go. And then we got the booby grab hands as he grabs for some delicious energy. Obviously, you can tell there is like the, uh, the little red dot in the middle, which he uses to suck out the energy. Just the energy. And we got a Vegeta face. Why do we get a Vegeta face? I mean, I think this is funny. You got like specifically this face where he looks down as he puts his feet on the face of the android to rip out his hands again classic moment and here's like the accessory for that where he got his hands ripped off <laughs> this is actually nice and metallic wow some good paint on this figure that who would have thought who would have thought and then he also has like his uh, not brain part because it's just like a dot and some mechanical detail in there but it looks really cool but for the record if you're wondering what this is this is, you take off his little spiky hand and you put this on and there you go i don't know if it's like the right direction right now we're just doing this real quick so that's kind of how this looks like and I, again very cool accessories that just make you play around and can recreate some iconic scenes of the show 
One small thing to note, I just want to try this out real quick. I'm guessing that you can only use the face on the most recent released Vegeta, which I didn't get, but here's like the, the previous version, which doesn't line up with the hair. I just want to know if this one fits. It seems to be the same. So, okay. Oh, it doesn't even look too bad, even though the hair doesn't really line up, but at least if you have like the old Vegeta, you can use that one. I know they re-released one, but I'm happy to tell you that you can still use that one because I also skipped on basically like the, I think like the, the one they recently got made was like just a re-release of this one just like with a different paint job. I didn't care for that and I just pulled this one out. This is like the original old school Vegeta which we got way way back in the day and does that even fit on there? Like I think there's a way to do it but it's a similar connection but different so I mean that's just to tell you, if you only have like the really, really old school Vegeta, then I highly recommend you get like a different one because this one, hey, this one's this, this is fun. It's kind of nostalgic, but it kind of sucks compared to the newer version. Also, mine's really wobbly in the hips. Anyway, final thoughts. One word: neglect. This is like a neglected character because they clearly didn't care about this one. I mean, the more I played around with the more. I started seeing some more flaws and whatnot because I, I talked about the hollering out and like if you move this back you always have like this this kind of gap over here if you just try to pull it back. If you move it forward it's fine, you don't really see it, but like yeah. So that's one thing. Also like the general lack of paint or not the right paint, I'm not really sure about it. The weird freaking pants and the articulation which uh, I guess they tried around with it, but maybe they should have tried around with it a little bit more. And then, like, well, the accessories are great. That's as much as I can say. I love the accessories. Everything else about the figure is just really limiting and, like, average. And once again, this is premium release at the premium price point, and I think it should have it should have been a lot more premium for that. But it just isn't. So this one... The figure itself is, like, average at best. So unless you're like me and you, you like this design and you want to have this character, it's okay, but I probably would recommend trying to find it at like a lower price. And for everybody else, I feel like this is a skip, because they didn't really put in the effort to make this what it could have been. You make all this mold, you should have painted it, and you shouldn't have like all these different layers of pants and whatnot. It would have been cool, but no, they didn't do that. So. Uh, not recommended, unfortunately. That's gonna do it, guys. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure views, card game stuff, and whatever Android 19 wants.